Good evening, Dean Davidson, live weatherblogs.com, meteorologists. It's time for the overnight outlook, and let's start with what we've had last week. It was amazing last week. We had the severe weather in North Carolina with three tornadoes, two of them EF2s, and one EF0. But I'm tell you what, an EF2 tornado in the month of January is not unprecedented, but it's very rare. So, especially North Carolina being the only the second document tornado of the season. So, something different. And that thus comes with a La Nina pattern. We're not, it seems like more of a neutral pattern than a La Nina pattern, but we'll go into that. Overlook of the forecast, and unfortunately, we're not looking at much snow at all here. So a big blowtorch is what we have right now going on in this country. Pretty. So I'm going to show you the satellite image. And as you see on satellite image, you can see where this jet stream is sitting. It's not really, it's more of a zonal jet stream. It's pretty flat, that's what I'm trying to say. Storms are coming across in this in this fa faction instead of digging deep and then coming up the coast. So we don't have that blocking up here. We need a blocking to come on up here to get storm to come off the coast and really start raging havoc here in the northeast and in the mid-Atlantic. And we're not getting that. We're getting something a little different. We're getting this small dig here. 540 lines, not deep. We're getting these warm-ups in the middle. And we're going to see that this week, too. We're going to see it warm up and cool down. Warm up and cool down. That's, this is how you get the warm up and cool down. You're going to get this trough dig in here. Warm up. Next one will be this trough. Warm up in the central plains. So, this it, it, is pretty, pretty much a neutral pattern as you can get. You're not really going to get dig deep troughs. This is what you need right here. In negative NEO. And good blocking to get a storm here. That would dig deep, develop here, and then come up the coastline. We're not getting that, or we're not getting a uh, the other situation where you get the energy here and then redevelop the coast. We're not getting the Miller A or B system. We're getting these clippers that are just coming down and shooting. That's what you're getting here clippers and troughs. That's all you're getting coming off this type of a jet stream pattern. Now, looking at the national radar, and I mean, you're not seeing much here either. We're seeing a little bit of snow out here towards Billings, a little bit of snow in the and the higher elevation of the Intermountain West, a little bit of rain moving in the South California, a little bit of snow shower activity here in the East, but not a whole lot. Like I said, when you have that pattern, you're not going to get much. You're just going to get these clipper systems coming down the line, giving you chances of rain. Maybe you can thunderstorms here in the lower Southern Plains and here along the East Coast, drifting. But that's what you're going to see. You're not going to see these real systems for storms, unfortunately. All right, taking a look at the Philadelphia forecast, Monday, sunny, 44 degrees. You see where the lows hit the coldest being Wednesday night. When you have rain on Tuesday, not a whole lot, maybe a half inch, 58. 35 Wednesday, 37 Thursday, and 41 on Friday. Taking a look at Baltimore and District of Columbia forecast, increasing clouds on day on Monday, 44. 65, rain on Tuesday before the front comes through, like I said. A clipper system. Wednesday, windy and 39, 41 on Thursday, and 48 on Friday. And the Roanoke Valley and Triad forecast, sunny skies tomorrow, 44 degrees. Rain on Tuesday, much like the rest of the East Coast, 60 degrees, 42 is your low. 35 is your high on Wednesday, 43 on Thursday, and 45 today on Friday. And this is Friday, not Friday. I'm sorry about that, people. Uh, the typo there. Friday. Last day to work for you. Well, I hate to tell you that that's. But we're looking at for the rest of the week. We'll go through any type of uh, different patterns and severe weather things like the NAO at a later time. For LiveWeatherBlogs.com, meteorologist, Ian Davidson, y'all have a great night. And we'll talk to you again tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon. Have a great evening.